I was actually stopping to get something to eat, and as I was looking across I went, oh there's the bad alert bus, I'll have to go say hello to Pauline, said truck driver Shane Williams, who came over to look at the engine. I think immigration is a big thing for everybody. I think it's going to be a good thing if Pauline gets some say in Parliament, keep the bastards honest. Hansen is not a candidate in the Queensland state election on November 25, having last year re-entered the federal parliament on a wave of popular support after a near two-decade absence. But her face is on almost every One Nation Party billboard and flyer in Queensland's Coleridge and sugarcane growing heartland, turning the vote into a test of whether Hansen's resurgence continues or is pushed back to the fringes. To Australia's most prominent right-wing nationalist it's not about joining a global populist push, it's that the rest of the world is finally catching up. U.S. President Donald Trump's election victory a year ago, however, is resonating across the world, she added. This is definitely the start. People are starting to wake up. You see people had no one else really to vote for. Coal and cane with its blown turbo hose fixed. Hansen's bus rolled down the road, three hours behind schedule, stopping at several towns before arriving at a town hall-style event that evening more than 400 kilometers, 249 miles, away. Hansen's town halls are a mix of stump speech and off-the-cuff observations, usually involving battler stories she's heard from locals on the campaign trail, claims that foreigners are buying up agricultural land and immigrants are not paying taxes complaints about crippling energy prices and government handouts to aboriginals, support for a ban on Muslim migrants. Hansen's rhetoric can be blunt, and draws almost instant condemnation in the cities, where she's often viewed as extreme. But in her rural heartland, where one town can be in drought while another gets hit by cyclonic floods, she is the mainstream. She's the only one trying to save our country really said 20-year-old Jack Roach in Proserpine, a sugarcane town of 3,500 in Queensland. Polls suggest one nation might take around 20% of the popular vote in Queensland, Australia's third most populous state, and situated in the northeast. That would mark its biggest electoral success since the 1990s. It's unclear, however, whether that will translate into more than a handful of seats among the 93 parliamentary seats at stake in the election. To her supporters, Hansen is the plain-speaking, anti-politician who can shake up the liberal national and labor political establishment in Australia. People call us racist, but we are just telling it like it is. Fish and Chips Australia's modern far-right movement was born in 1996 in the city of Ipswich, an inland river port and former coal mining centre in Queensland, where Hansen made an unlikely but successful run for political office while managing a fish and chip shop. After using her maiden speech in Parliament to warn the country would be swamped by Asians, she co-founded the One Nation Party. It enjoyed early electoral success, before imploding over infighting. The party power struggle and Hansen's 11-week imprisonment for electoral fraud in 2003, eventually quashed, halted her momentum, and she spent years struggling to regain her once formidable connection to voters. Labour parliamentarian Jennifer Howard, who is contesting the seat of Ipswich, said the mainly white area that fostered Hansen's rise in the 1990s has given way to a more diverse population that will hinder one nation's success. Howard said she used to take her children to Hansen's shop in the late 1980s. My daughter used to say to me, why is that lady always so angry? That's evident even at Hansen's old fish and chip shop, now run by Vietnamese immigrant Tan Nguyen, who described her as interesting without disclosing who she would vote for. The shop's menu offers most of the same items Hansen used to make, including dagwood dogs, or corn dogs but has some imported ideas, including Vietnamese spring rolls.